Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an Erin Condren haul for you. I ordered some of the new releases that Erin Condren has put out, plus one thing that I've had my eye on for a few months now, and I thought I would share it with you in this video. So here is the box my order came in. It didn't take too long to get here, which is awesome. So let's open this puppy up and let me show you what I got. So the first thing I ordered were some of the new sticky notes that just came out. And I'm just rearranging my desks because I might use this to show you guys what these look like. This is my daily planner. Let me just flip to a random page in here we can use for testing. Uh, so the first one is this set of hexagon sticky notes. And let's open this up. I wasn't super impressed with these in the past, but I really liked some of the new designs, so I wanted to get them. So here are the first set I got. These are a very neutral tone, and I believe these are transparent, so I'm just gonna stick a couple on the page here so we can see what they look like. They are definitely see-through, which is fine. And I think you have to use with like a more permanent pen to write on these, so I'm just gonna grab this Sharpie pen and just write call person. Yeah, you definitely need like a, uh, a more permanent writing utensil. But that's what these look like. I really like them and I think they're gonna be great for pre-planning. So this top sheet, and this was my complaint before, simply just comes off and it slides back into this, but I like that it's covered. Was the other one like that? I don't remember. But this is the first new item I got, and I, like I said, I really liked the neutral design on this, and it looks great in the planner. So let's put that aside. Here is the second set of sticky notes. These are the circle sticky notes. These were hexagon shaped, as you can tell. If I can get it open, there we go. So this one is in that mid-century design as well and on a more teal background and then here are the circle sticky notes so these are in some more vibrant colors we have like a green teal color a purple and then this is like a maroon maybe so let me show you guys what these look like very nice very nice quality so that is what the circle ones look like and let me just see what the pen looks like on these Looks pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy. So let's see, did this dry? It did dry, it's not rubbing off, so that's a good sign. So these are all of the new sticky notes that Erin Condren released. Again, very excited to get these. So we have the circle sticky notes and the hexagon. And these are great for pre-planning. So I'm gonna set these aside for now. I got a bunch of these daily dots and do it all dots uh, free with my order because of what I purchased. So I'm not gonna open these up, but you could get these in your orders. Here's what they look like. They're pretty useful in the planners. Here's a throwback. Wow, look at that. That's like a super old design. Same with this one. I actually had this pattern several years ago, but this one is like super, super like going back a few years now. So these are very helpful to have. Then I ordered a sticker sheet. This was one of the new sticker sheets. Oh, that's actually upside down. <laughs> one of the new sticker sheets um, from the Black Artists collabs. I think this one was called Abundance perhaps, but I thought this was really pretty and I'm gonna use it in my, my, in my planner, obviously. Then I ordered these sticky notes, this checklist sticky note. I thought this would be really good for pre-planning. And it looks like you get multiple in here, maybe? It says it's a two pack, so let's see. Um, I don't, oh, it is a two pack. I think they're stuck together. They're like back to back. That's very interesting for design. So it's basically just a long sticky note with checklists on it. One side is like a neutral blue, the other one is like a, a more taupey color. Uh, I really would like these for pre-planning. Again, that's why I got them. I use, if I can find them in my desk, I have a very similar list that I use for pre-planning a lot of the times in my monthly spreads. So when I saw these and how neutral and professional they looked, I had to have them. So that is the sticky notepad checklist. And then the last three items are 
two notebooks and kind of a planner. So let me show you the first one. So when I saw this notebook, I had to get it. So this is the soft bound notebook in the uh, mid-century circle design. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I thought it would be the perfect like on the go notebook. So here's what it looks like. It is a smaller size. It's five by eight and a quarter. And it does have gold embossing on it. The edge of the, of the pages are also gold. And then when you flip it open, you have this beautiful pattern on the inside. And then this is the classic lined notebook, do the right thing, this book belongs to. And then it's just a lined book. I don't think this has, oh, it does have a page marker. Okay, so there's even a page marker in here. So here's what it looks like, closed. And then you just have, I just got lined because that's what I like my notebooks to have. I figured I would get this as like an on the go notebook and I've never owned one of the soft bound books and wow, the quality of this is really nice. And it lays pretty flat too. A lot of notebooks don't. So I'm very impressed with this. And I, like, I, like I said, I, the instant I saw different people getting these in their review boxes, I knew I had to pick it up. So yeah, and then here's the back of the, the notebook. It's really, really nice quality. Wow, I'm really, really impressed. I can see why people like the softbound notebook so much. So, yeah, just a really nice notebook. And I, I don't have a lot of notebooks right now. I, do, I did just get one from Happy Planner, but I'm using that for something else. And I've got a couple of coiled notebooks. Well, I really only have one other one. So, yeah, I had a coupon code and I wanted it, so I got it. So that is the Take Note new softbound notebook. I'll show you the other notebook I got really quick. So this was one of the exclusive designs they just came out with. This floral pattern is absolutely stunning. I got it because spring is around the corner and I just wanted another notebook. So I did get the silver coil and my name is down at the bottom. That's why I'm holding my thumb over it. And again, this is just a classic lined notebook. I love these. You get tons and tons of pages. I don't think there's anything in the back. You do get a sheet of stickers. I don't typically use them in my notebooks, but they're there. So yeah, that's all this is. It's just a neutral notebook. And I'm not sure yet what exactly I'm gonna use it for, but I, you never can have too many notebooks. And I wanted this cover so bad, so that's why I picked it up. They did come out with some new um, page designs recently, and I decided to stick with this one because lined is the only one that works for me. I've never been a big fan of like dot grid. So I went with what works and yeah, I'm super excited for this. Put this over here. And the last item that's really exciting that I got that I have had my eye on for a while, I'm just gonna put my planner over here, is the recipe book. Well, now you see my last name, but whatever. I had this customized in the black and white design because I thought it looked really chic and is is all my vibes. So I gave it my last name with recipes and this is the recipe book, or recipe journal, sorry. Uh, I'll flip through this because I haven't seen the contents of this before. So it says cook the right thing. This will stay at home, it will never go anywhere. So in the front here, we have a bunch of conversions, which is very helpful. Oven temps, weight, volume, baking pan, measurements, meat temperatures. Wow, this is really helpful. And then buy meat type. Very nice to have right at hand if you're cooking in your kitchen. Then we have some favorites. So my favorites, crowd favorites, and then other people's favorites. I'll probably put my husband's name here. And then we go right into appetizers. So let me move that out of the way. So let's see, this has got a tab on it. And the first wet recipe will go on this page. So you have a bunch of little boxes to check. Servings, prep time, cook time, a large spot for ingredients. You have two columns there. A spot for directions, more directions, and then any notes. So this is gonna be great to keep track of recipes. So let's see. You get a bunch of pages for appetizers. And then you get side dishes. Same exact setup. Good amount of pages for that. Then you have entrees or main dishes. Again, same exact recipe. You could make this two recipes 
one on each side if you wanted to. My nails need to be repainted, sorry. You could put one pet recipe here, one recipe on the other if you had a lot that you wanted to add in here. I like to print off recipes a lot of the time on Pinterest. So you could just tape them in too and just completely cover this up. I think there's lots of flexibility with this. So that is entrees. Then we have desserts. And I think desserts have something a little bit different. Nope, they don't. So we have all the desserts. And then what's in the back here? Uh, more. So I guess if you have other recipes that you want to put in the back, you can. And that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, there's nothing really back here. There's a couple of extra, like, blank pages in the back. Just a few you could use for maybe party planning or something. But that is the recipe book. And I can't wait to fill this out. I might spend some time this afternoon putting my recipes in here. And this would look really nice on the planner stand. Let me uh, move some of this stuff out of the way so I can show you. You could put this on your kitchen counter and I think it would look really nice. So here's the stand I have. And you could leave it just like this on your kitchen counter and I think it would look so pretty. And I think I've seen some people do that. I haven't personally, but I just got that idea and I think it would look really awesome just sitting on your counter. And then you could just simply flip open to a page and know what you're gonna cook. So that's everything for this little haul video. Let me recap it for you. So I got the recipe book, the coil bound planner, the soft bound planner, the sticker sheet, the checklist sticky notes, some dots that came free with my order, and then the circle sticky notes and the hexagon sticky notes. If you guys want any more information about any of these items, again, please leave it in the comments below. I will include some affiliate links to Erin Condren's website where you can pick these things up if you so choose. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little haul video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.